Sorry, no vacancies. In the murky swamp, the octonauts nervously drifted past grinning alligators and curious snakes. Welcome! Muskrat Tours Swamp Monster VIP Under the water, there is called a parade. The crew danced through the bio while the Vegemoles collected beads and souvenirs. Tired out from the merrymaking, Tunip decided they should continue their search. And here is the glow in the dark page, if you guys can see it. If you actually put this under a light and then turn off the lights, it glows. Can't show you right now, but once you, if you get the book for yourself, you can try it out. After a long descent, the Octonauts reached the bottom of the ocean to visit the deep sea research lab. But the crew inspected the camera network, but they didn't see us any Vegemos, only the freaking lots of luminous bioluminescent bio jellyfish. Here's some creatures, as you can see. There's Tweak. The Deep Sea Network, Light Tower, Octobots, the Camera, and Octobuggy, a se se Seismograph, and Turn off the Lights and See Me Glow. It's a Vampire Squid, by the way. Ooh! When the Okinawans finally arrived at the kelp forest, Tunip's eyes were widened as he clapped his fins together in delight. Everywhere he looked, he was surrounded by kelp, his favorite type of seaweed. There aren't many other Vegemoles here, Selfra observed, but it appears to be a suitable habitat for them. Vegemoles do love kelp. The Vegemoles quickly set up a camp kitchen and began baking away. They make sweet ca chocolate kelp cakes, healthy broccoli cupcakes, and even fancy pineapple upside down kelp cakes. I'm going to show you all of the names of the kelp cakes after I show you this little picture. All of the Vegemoles working together. Menu de kelp, classic kelp, apple, cupcake, chocolate, miso, Neapolitan, watermelon, burger, peppermint, pancake, cactus, Swiss cheese, strawberry, sauerkraut, pickle, onion, licorice, mushroom, broccoli, kimchi, jelly, candy floss, cappuccino, pumpkin, kiwi, lemon, and pineapple. There's a lot of flavors. When it's time to leave, Shankin called out, Tunip, are you ready to go? But the distracted Vegemos are too busy to respond. Looks like they want to stay here, Captain Barnacle said sadly. I guess our search is over and we should head home to the octopod. The Octonauts waved farewell as they departed in their gups. The Vegemos continued to walk in a favor. So much kelp, so many cakes to bake. Roll, blend, bake, whisk, mix, glaze, stir, churn, ice, fold. You can see all the shadows of lots of Vegemos. The Vegemos rolled and mixed, this, mixed and stirred for days, until mountains of kelp cakes towered all around them. When the bacon done, Tunip excitedly ran to the forest in search of the Octonauts. He couldn't wait to share these treats. He not finding a single crew member, Tunip finally remembered they had all gone back to the Octopod. There was no one left to enjoy the cakes. Missing their friends, the gloomy Vegemos thought of all the fun times they had together and felt sad. We are all the Vegemos feeling sad. Shellington, they're sleeping with Shellington and Tunip has a stuffed toy Tunip. They are knitting with Quasi. They are making like a fun stuff with Tweak. They are practicing dancing with Captain Barnacles, drawing with Dashi, reading stories with Inkling and Peso. The Vegemoles didn't know where the octopod would be, but they all agreed they had to try and find it. With a long and difficult journey ahead of them, they quickly packed up their mobile kitchen, plates were stacked and pots were stored. The determined group of left in the forest in a jumble of carts peeling with the cakes. So many cakes. They traveled back from all the different habitats they have visited, from the busy open ocean to the deep sea floor. See all the way here. And they're going this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. And they turn around, there's an island. Turn around here. They're going this way even. From here. 
but they don't end up anywhere they end up there and they end up back at the start they're going this way again and again 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 they end up here and they're going this way and they end up back and they're still going and they have to go this way as days passed the vegemos grew tired and started to give up hope of ever finding the octonauts until one some suddenly one morning they heard a familiar sound Vroom! The octopod. The Vegemos cheerers landed beside them in a burst of bubbles. The octo hatch promptly opened and the bubbles octonauts swimmed out to reunite with their friends. This is the octo hatch. We missed you all so much, Captain Barnacles said as he, tun- he gave Tunip a big bear hug. We returned to the kelp first to visit, but you weren't there. Luckily, we found a trail of delicious clues as each octonaut held up their favorite type of cake. Peso with peppermint. Um, dashy with strawberry, uh, Captain Barnacles with cappuccino. Yar, how did I get licorice again? And uh, quasi with licorice, tunip with uh, tweak with carrot, shankton with watermelon, and uh, Professor Inkling with salt cut. The octopod hasn't been the same without you. Barnacles addressed to all the vegemos. Would you join us on board again? Chipa choo! Tunip quickly replied. The crew all turned. Uh, Expectly to Shankton, who explained with a grin, "That's Vegemolis for yes." Back on board the ship, the Octonauts gathered in the garden pot to enjoy a picnic. Tunip, if you like, you can keep looking for your original habitat. Shankton said in mouthfuls of kelp. Okay, there's still so much ocean to be yet to explore. Tunip looked around and his caring friends and cheerfully shook his head. He knew that there was no better place for a Vegemol to belong than right here on the octopod. The end. Thank you all for watching. And before I leave, I'm just going to explain about this. I'm not going to explain because it's really long. I'm just going to pause at it. You guys can pause and read it if you want. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you all next time. And stay tuned for the new series coming on December 1st. Now there's a different thing. It's uh, I'm going to give you a little sneak peek again. It's uh, going to be uh, storytelling. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye.